Assalamu alaikum, grade 4. For the next two weeks, we'll be doing some nonfiction writing on the topic of ways to reduce pollution. This writing task will also conclude our science unit, Waste in Our World. You'll be writing a total of five paragraphs answering this question. What are three ways to reduce pollution? So keep in mind, this task is not a hamburger paragraph, so make sure that you're following instructions carefully and that you listen to this video entirely. Your first draft will be due on Friday, April 24th, and we'll have two weeks to complete this entire task. Once you've completed your first draft, you will submit and your teacher will provide you with feedback. After your teacher provides you with feedback, you will move forward and complete your second and final draft. You will also complete your task on Google Docs and share with your teacher. We'll be following the writing process to develop our writing. The writing process is important because it helps our idea, turn our ideas into a polished final draft. So of course we will start with the pre-writing stage. This is where we're thinking about our ideas, brainstorming, and creating kind of a mind map or any type of way to organize and gather ideas. You'll create a first draft. You'll also revise and edit and get feedback from your teacher. And then finally, you'll complete your final draft. So for step one in our pre-writing stage, before you begin writing your paragraph, brainstorm about four to five ways to reduce pollution. Think about how pollution can be reduced not just by your own actions personally, but on a global scale. So what can the world do as a whole to reduce pollution? A mind map is a great way to demonstrate this. And use information you've learned so far in our Waste in Our World unit. So that means look at part one and part two PowerPoints from science. You can look at the student notes as well as instructional or educational videos. So here's an example of my brainstorming mind map. I've included six, uh, six ideas, but you're welcome to just choose three to four, or if you think of more, go ahead. So some ideas that I thought of are buying energy efficient cars, drying your clothing on a clothesline instead of drying it in the dryer, therefore using less energy, growing your own fruits and vegetables instead of driving to a grocery store, and uh, that's a good way to stop air pollution, taking public transport so less people are driving on the road and causing air pollution, using solar energy, and of course, implementing, reducing, reusing, and recycling in your daily practice, and that way you're not adding to the problem um, going on. So these are just some, some ideas on ways that you can reduce pollution. There are so many different other ideas beyond this. So then we move on to our step two, our drafting stage. So once you're done brainstorming, Choose only three of your best ideas to write about. Again, only three of your best ideas. Because you will be writing a detailed paragraph for each of your three ideas for reducing pollution. So in total, you'll be writing five paragraphs. It's also important to consider an Islamic connection in your writing. So think about why in Islam is it important to protect our earth? Now, for your first paragraph, you'll be introducing your topic that you're writing about. You'll also be stating three reasons that you've decided on on ways to reduce pollution. So your three best reasons that you've decided will also be included in your first paragraph. And I'll demonstrate here. But first, notice how I've indented my paragraph. And also note that I've added proper punctuation and grammar. <clears throat> So, pollution is anything that brings harm to our environment. Pollution can cause, sorry, can affect our land, water, and air and be very harmful to live beings. So that's anything living. Human activity also has a large impact on the amount of pollution that is released in our communities. Therefore, it is important that humans practice ways to reduce pollution in our world. I will be discussing some ideas on how to reduce pollution by using solar panels in your home to power anything in your house that needs electricity, drying your clothing on a clothesline to minimize the use of electrical power, and finally, making sure that waste is properly disposed of by reusing, reducing, and recycling. So, notice how I introduced my topic. Okay, I talked about what pollution is. I talked about how it affects our world by affecting our land, water, and air. And I also talked about why it's important to discuss. Okay? Then after that, in the same paragraph, 
I stated briefly my three reasons that I chose on how to reduce pollution. Notice how I didn't go, I didn't just say one sentence for everything. I use more than one sentence to describe what I will be talking about. Then in your next paragraph, your paragraph two, you will write, you will choose your first supporting detail and elaborate on that. So you'll pick your first supporting detail, so your first way to reduce pollution, and you'll give at least three details for that idea. These details can further describe, explain, or define what you're talking about. So let's look at my example. Notice for my second paragraph, I've also indented it, and I've also used a transition word. Firstly, and I notice I put a comma after, solar power is a great alternative for providing electricity in homes. When the sun shines on solar panels, the panel absorbs energy. This energy creates electricity and can be used to power appliances in your home. Renewable energy comes from nature. Therefore, solar power is a useful alternative since it does not cause any pollution. So, I first explained my first way of reducing pollution that I've chosen from my brainstorm and that I also touched upon in my introduction paragraph. And then I gave a little bit of information on how solar power works and how solar panels work. And then I also kind of concluded my paragraph by saying that solar power is a useful alternative since it does not cause any pollution. For your third paragraph, you'll be writing about your second main idea with some supporting details. So you'll pick your second supporting idea and then again, you'll be writing more details about that. So it can't just be one sentence. It's not a hamburger paragraph. You're now developing the skills that you learned when writing a hamburger paragraph, and you're learning to provide a lot more details. So let's look at my third paragraph uh, example. Notice again, I've also I've used a transition word, and I've indented. So another way to reduce pollution is by drying your clothing on a clothesline. A dryer uses a lot of energy and therefore is not helpful in preventing pollution in our environment. Air drying your clothing means you can use renewable energy like the sun and wind to dry your clothes effectively. Okay, it wasn't super long, but I did provide additional details that explained my, my idea better. For your fourth paragraph, this is your third supporting detail. Okay, so notice again I've indented. I've included a transition word. So next, properly disposing of waste by reusing, reducing, and recycling is another useful way to reduce pollution in our environment. There are lots of ways to do this. When we reduce, we use a little of something as possible. Buying products from a store in large amounts usually means that less packaging is used, and it is a great example of reducing pollution in our environment. Reusing things can help conserve as well. We can reuse cloth grocery bags. This can help us limit the amount of plastic we use. Also, recycling means using old paper, glass, or metal to make new paper, glass, or metal. So sorting your garbage into the proper recycling categories can also reduce pollution and waste in landfills. This information was right from our, our PowerPoints in our Waste in Our World unit. I didn't think of new information. I didn't have to search up new information. I used information that I gathered from our science unit to help me come up with this paragraph and give details and give examples. So for your fifth paragraph, it's your conclusion. So in this paragraph, you'll write a few sentence that, sentences that conclude your paper. So you can summarize your main idea or describe why this topic is important. So let's look at my example. Again, I've indented and used a transition, uh, two transition words. So in conclusion, comma, most pollution today is caused by humans. Pollution is a serious issue and affects all over the world. It can, it, it can impact our water, land, and air. Therefore, it is very important that humans practice ways to limit and reduce the amount of pollution they produce. Solar energy, using renewable energy to dry our clothing and reusing, reducing, and recycling are only some of the ways that we can reduce pollution. There are many more helpful tips that, that can help reduce waste and we must practice them. So notice I've, it's kind of similar to my introduction paragraph. I'm kind of restating why this topic is important and its effects 
And then I'm also restating my three points briefly. And then I'm finally concluding my paragraph with a concluding sentence. Oops, sorry, my computer froze for a second. Finally, for step three is your revising and editing stage. So once you've completed your first draft and you've followed all those steps and you've created five paragraphs with a brainstorming page, you will edit your work and submit to your teacher by Friday, April 24th. Once your teacher has read your first draft and provided you with some feedback, you will rewrite and publish. So you will also see this included in Google Classroom. Okay, again, this is the instructions that I've already stated in my Google Slides already. So it's again telling you what the research question is, to think about an Islamic connection, to use um, the PowerPoint student notes and videos from our Waste in Our World unit because we're connecting that topic to our writing activity. Also remember, this isn't a hamburger paragraph, so you need to have a total of five paragraphs. Also include your planning page to your first draft when you submit. So whatever brainstorming that you do, please include that with your first draft. So your final work should look something like this. It shouldn't have any of these headlines that I've highlighted, but I've just added these just to provide you with a reminder of what to include on each paragraph. But when your writing is done, you should have a total of five paragraphs, all indented, with proper grammar and punctuation. So if you have any questions, don't be afraid to message your teacher and happy writing.